I'm using the November build to show you uh, a view decay to show you some DX11 tessellation. Um, this is applied to a sphere. This is a box. It's the same material. Um, I've got a few other materials here, kind of some medieval windows and doors, uh, some stone, some pretty simple materials. There's a roof tile. We'll talk about all that here in a second. But I'm receiving this in a. Um, the default midday lighting of UDK. Um, I suggest anyone get the get the grasp of the DX11 features and what they do to a low poly mesh because this is just a sphere. But let's look at that material. Uh, simple material. The result of a few parameters of an instance as diffuse is multiplied by the color and added to the for now. Um, again so many more features could be used here so many more parameters you could make this much better but this is a simple result that I came up with just just for the example um, speckler is multiplied by parameter as does its power the um, normal is out here um, its alpha is the displacement map used for the tessellation um, Look, just check the official documentation before you trust this. It's much more accurate. However, I these two parameters control the tessellation depth and height. Uh, these are plugged into the world displacement and tessellation modifier is a two comma two a two constant. If you hold the lever, if you hold two and you click out here, you get this right here. You put two and two in there, plus plug it in there. Next is the uh, material. This is the result of um, just throwing some uh, displacement modifiers on a plane using some cellular result. This is the uh, material that came out of it. It's the um, AO. We throw some uh, shading modifiers on there. Just, you know, working on it. Take a little bit from the normal map. The, the blue and red channel mix it together. Uh, get some highlights on the really hard edges just really exaggerating it just kind of overdoing it just to get a result that looks respectable and uh, you know here's some uh, took some rock and grass textures split those up between the alphas of the height that came out with the result just to get an interesting diffuse we put it all together level that intensely to get the specular Um, the displacement map came straight out of max from the height map. Just the height result. Um, here's the normal result. Again, this is just cellular displacement. It's over the top and ridiculous just to get a strong result to show off this displacement. And again, this is on a sphere. Here it is on a box. It's, it's ridiculous. It's over the top. However, the uh, let me scroll out real, real quick here to show you. Hopefully this result shows up. But as you can see, these return to boxes and spheres. But once you get closer, it tessellates. You see the tessellation come in. It automatically level of details itself. So that when you're really really close, you have just ridiculous tessellation. Beautiful. Again, this is a box. Um, if you look at the edges, let me see here. Yeah, if you look at the edges, you can see how these two, uh, the depth versus the height, it makes a result. Um, here's a different style of material. This is very simple. Some windows, some rivets, a few boards are told to stick out by the displacement. So you can see, uh, here's the material. The basic diffuse, the displacement or height, and let me switch over here to the normal map. Again, the height and the final diffuse, uh, obviously a bit of a whip. Uh, here's some stone, and look, look at that edge again. You can see how what this does to edges, and you have to um, make sure you, you, your UVs, your meshes are built correctly to uh, accommodate to what DX11 tessellation is going to do to a mesh. And when we look really close here, we can see uh, this result, how it sticks out. It's pretty nice. This brick turned out pretty well. 
and here's the uh, roof tile again same results it's pretty subtle but it works really well that's the edge there again that would be trimmed and everything will work out fine and let's look at those materials uh, in Photoshop that's pretty much yeah the diffuse the height there's the normal again here's the height not the height the diffuse sorry about that here's the height normal all together yeah so there's the uh, final results that's again the DX level on the sphere it's pretty ridiculous how awesome this thing works um, gosh I wish I had more examples but try it out for yourself check it out it's awesome it's you know it's the next gen